Possibly. Examine Hank's desk. Learn more about Hank. Hank storms out. Okay. Talk to Hank. Examine files. Talk about the case. Hank is mad. Okay. Do they all meet? I have no idea. I guess you could make him more pissed off where he just fucking like doesn't get to leave because he leaves or some shit. I'm assuming if he's working on these cases that they maybe not all. I would say he meets each one of them first or like like separately. And there's a slight chance that she might come in contact with Marcus because they might end up going to this a similar location because of RA9. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Bath? How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. You guys are having too much fun. That's true. <laughs> draw the bath. Why do they call why do they say draw a bath? That's that's gotta be some kind of like old, old terminology. Term, yeah. Draw a bath. That probably has to do with some specific action you used to have to do. You're really gonna look it up? We're playing a game. I like On it. stream. I know. I'm about to cut my hair. Oh, shit. Oh, don't tell me she's going to go for the hole and speak to your manager. Connor is a gorgeous robot. How's it going, Gogurt Fun? Yeah, he is. You know, he's, he's, he's well put together. Oh, hey, girl. David Cage likes the short-haired girls. Accessing AX 400 options, select new hair color. Um, blonde. Doesn't really fit Light. with her, with her skin tone. Black would probably be good. But how black is it going to be? Uh, I don't know. Go back to brown. You kind of need to change your hair color, though. Yeah. So which do you think is better? I mean, I think black looks the best. Yeah. Oh. I love how everybody can just take that thing out like it's nothing. Yeah. Drawing a bath comes from back when you didn't have water pressure and you had to draw it out, mm. pump it. Optimal temperature. Read. Hmm. You're pretty like that. Thanks. You really look like a human now. Not sure how to respond to that. First yeah, Android Zoo opens. You're not gonna read it. Yeah. In fucking Canada. Android free zone? Really? What is happening? What? Oh, did she go and take her back? Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Wait. Ah. Uh. I should open the curtains. I thought they would break if they removed that. Uh, it seems to be just like a like an indicator. You can tell their state. Oh. 112th Boston Marathon. 
I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. Managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was gonna kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. He didn't even talk about his daughter. I know, right? I was, I was thinking the way he was talking about it, he didn't even mention his daughter. Let's hope they find it fast. What a dick. Leaving him alive has provided some interesting... It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we gonna now do? you have to go against what he's saying. We have nowhere to go. Well, she can just probe the mem they the can probe her memory. looking for us now. True. What does it mean by family? Is that just a conversation point? No, I think she was going oh, to her ask mom. if she has any family. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. Well, we can't stay we can't here. can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Oh, Come comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Um, the future is not written. <laughs> I'm always three steps ahead. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Okay, I guess we'll just leave her in here. Canada. Android for fucking. I went down. Down. Are you fucking me? Okay. All right. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Uh. He failed that one, dude. Fuck. With Andrews continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Fucking Canada, dude. Mm. We're going to be pragmatic. Yeah, we're going to wait it out. We're going to wait it out and see what happens and let the U.S., you know, fuck things up first. <laughs> Classic little brother. Oh, hope you didn't, uh... A classic little brother. Um, hope we didn't forget the uh, card. Nope, didn't need it that time. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. How very similar to Heavy Rain. Ben, yeah, it's still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off the area. Until it's room down. You wait in the car. Rational? You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. 
Yeah, what? And that's on him. Why is it always raining in Seattle? Look, I'm gonna go ahead of you because I don't. Yo, yeah, don't fucking wave your hand. Hey, hey, don't walk quicker. Yo, fucking cut me off oh, the dude. pass. Oh, he won that one. Damn it. Yo, it's getting framey. Was it for like a second? Oh, it's because the rain uh, uh, transfer going from being in the rain to out of the rain. I was still on Canada. That's cool. It's gone. Reach train station. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just phase through that. That guy to the left? Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Just hide there, maybe? Yeah. Will never take me alive, copper. Bye. Oh, we're gonna be a fucking heart attack game. Again. Look to the right. Yeah, I know. Or to the right. Suggesting that you walk that path. Well, I can either go here or here. Um, there, phone. Wow, look at all these options. Not Alice. That she was gonna run into someone. The way that set it up. Women's only. Yo, we fucking did it. Are you okay? No one has to pay for trains anymore. Well, that's nice. In the future, we have free public transit. Yeah, I think Detroit has actually i don't know i mean it's one of those older cities so it would make sense they would have like a tram system currently but yeah it's nice that you don't have to pay for it 24 percent reached the thing so uh, there's a way you can get obviously you can get caught by the police that's hank checks the motel room you can get him to not check the motel room what the fuck what the fuck that's crazy Oh, you can not go to the Mattel room. You can go to mm. and, and head her off of the pass. Yeah. So I trust it with Alice. Report that Cyber Life has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assisted androids have been tested for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted
What's it called when somebody has two different colored eyes? Heterochromia? Yeah. I wonder if it can be any color or if it because usually you see it with like brown eye and then like a blue eye or something like that. I think most often you see them with a hazel eye and then some other color. Alright, one second. Oh, this is look for the graffiti. I heard about this. Are you, what are you trying to do? Exit the main menu real fast. Because when Northern Line started up again, he got like a survey or some shit. I wanted to see if we could get it. Like what we think about the game? No, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a little questionnaire. It's weird. I keep saying D Storm check. Storm check. The storm check. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Strange. Seeing that it's taking so long to load. Where is the D storm? Alpha payload. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, nice. is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? We've updated our privacy policies. <laughs> Great. Let's start. We'll just need your phone number. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Hmm. I mean, yes. answer honestly, Matt. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? I think it's a possibility. I think don't know. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? A book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, and instruments. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? <laughs> Me? Dependent on technology? Absolutely. What technology do you most anticipate? What, what technology do you most anticipate? Sorry, this is a really loud fucking... Is our neighbor cutting the grass? I think our neighbor is cutting the grass. God damn it. Okay. Um, what you must anticipate? Androids, flying cars, space tourism, brain-connected devices. I'm, I'm leaning towards brain-connected devices, but androids are cool too. Do you believe in God? No. Would you Sorry, like an android take care of your children? Yeah. Yeah. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? More. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yes. yes. Do you think one day machines <laughs> it's okay. could develop consciousness? I don't know. All right, so most people said yes. Nornline said no. He did. Uh, do you think technology becomes a threat to mankind? Most people said yeah, yes, and we said don't know. Yeah. Interesting. We're in minority. Uh, instrument was higher. And on technology, most people said yes. Anticipating. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I believe in God. Most people said no. Yeah. Would you let an android take care of your children? Uh, this is a little bit more split. More. 67%. Yeah, four hours isn't that big of a, a, a leap. One percent said one hour. The emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated by a machine? Most people said yes. Do you agree one day machines can uh, develop consciousness? Most people said yes. It's hard to say. Develop consciousness? I'm skeptical. I don't know. They already have like machine learning and stuff like that. It's not the same as consciousness, though. Yeah, I know, but like... You think it's like a step towards it? Yeah. Like, however much I think it would be cool, I I don't really believe in the idea of, like, a soul. 
Yeah, but you don't need a soul to have consciousness. And, and that's true. I, I actually just thought about that when I, when I said it. Because I was like, well, in that, that doesn't case, make any sense. Yeah, well. well and, also not pertinent to the conversation. What I was going to say, initially it was like, so there would be no, like, the, there wouldn't be any, any reason for uh, that to impact it. But thinking about it now, by saying that, it actually makes it more likely that it would be possible for consciousness. But that's one of the things that, people have not been able to figure out is like why we have consciousness. Oh God. Scare the hell out of me. You know what I'm saying? Detroit mm -hmm. police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal You want to unwrap that cord around the other cords? Trail to Jericho. They missed me. There some change. Okay. Well, it's an orange one. Think orange. Oranga. The Android boy band. You mean here for you? God, they're so creepy. My kids don't listen to anything else. What would they send? Yeah. Oh, this is definitely it. Is this like a playoff of the reuse, reuse, recycle? Wait. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's reuse, reuse. Double down. <laughs> That's over there. Oh, okay. You're, you're that, you're that douchey pedestrian. Okay, above a little robot behind a fence. Over there? I wonder. Hey, you got a dollar? Dollar, dollar, Billy. Oh, oh shit, it's right there. There's definitely another one down the way. Where is that? Okay, I guess I'm doing that. You know, human things where I just breaking and entering. B and E. Oh, I love Dane Cook. <laughs> Do a little B and E. Oh, because you gotta move that thing out of the way to examine it. Because you know you can't just assume. Yeah, just, just drop it. Fuck it. Why can't I just scan the same one again? Because you have to find all the symbols. That one's on her ear. If you go to Phoenix, Arizona, there's a bunch of graffiti like this. Yeah. Oh, she's up there on the left. I know where she is, Spencer. I saw this part played. Find a way to the roof. Okay. Took Norn Lion so much longer. To figure out that you need to move this thing? No, just the whole thing. Uh -oh. We did not find those one things. Okay. You have to do the controller.
Oh, those are all like clustered. Sparkle. Hmm. Ari, right, find me the most uh, coolest way to get over there. Sick. Execute. Execute. It's like you preloaded the uh, the uh, quick time events, so you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, Sparkle City. Repair store. Okay, it's inside. That makes sense. Mm, calculating. Now, where do you think we should go? Ah, oh, I wonder. Okay, easy. So you gotta go lower. Okay. You know, it's cool watching him do this, but it would also be cool is if one of them, you did the pre-construct, and then you finish the pre-constructing and calculate it, and then you just appeared there like you had just done it. You know, sometimes they do that in movies. Yeah. Whoa, buddy. Android almost made it. And it's, is it over here? No, I know where it is. Okay, right. I don't care about it because I think it's probably behind you. Dude, this one took Norn line so long. Really? Yeah. I kind of knew based on the size of the hole in the shape. Right there. Oh. And he could not line it up. Well, I mean, he didn't even know what to line up. If he had played Hellblade's Senior Sacrifice, he wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah. Easy lemon squeezy. Why do you have to move it? Why can't you just climb games? You can just climb around that. Go up and over. They did this in uh, a way out too. Like just moving stuff out of the way. Oh yeah, just to be moving it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Fallout Three. I was just I was just thinking about that. Jericho. I'm in my man hugs. Oh shit, it's on a fucking tanker ship. Simples found. Reach the boat. Oh yeah. I better go the most direct way. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> yep, yep. It fell. Yep, that's busted. Is there a symbol in there? Oh wait, mm -hmm. no, I'm going with that. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I just look like a dummy. <laughs> well, obviously, you gotta go this way. No pre-construction on this shit. I guess you don't see the goal, so you can't pre-construct anything. Hmm, now what's around here? Got some ammo? Wait, this is not that type of game. Secret? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. 
was that from? I don't know, but it sounds familiar. Lord of the Rings. Oh, God. Gandalf says that to Frodo. Lime. Climbing upwards signifies rising above man. You know what I think would be really cool? Hmm. Is if they had like some type of like sick, like Assassin's Creed moment. <laughs> We're here. You, you go up to the top and then you, you unlock the, well, you saw the whole area and they did like that thing. Except hmm. it's a drone. And then, uh, <laughs> Then you jump down into a pile of hay. I thought for a second he's gonna he's gonna hit something. It's like <laughs> Marcus has died. What? Oh, he lost his jacket. Forty-five percent of his personality. How did he lose his jacket? I guess I he stole that joke one hundred percent from Northern Lion. <laughs> uh but how did he lose his jacket? Did he purposely take it off to uh, provide a movement or something like that? Like, nah. they didn't even like cover that. Plus, you notice um, he has a very he, his his look is is reminiscent of uh, Neo. Yeah. In the second film or whatever. When he's in Zion. Even androids know the whole shake trick. They could fix it, because it's just a contact issue. But why, when you can shake it? Look at this shit, dude. Resident Evil 8. Also stole that joke from... God damn it. Line. Oh, that's locked. Hope nothing scary happens. They're gonna be, like, partial androids, like, living out here, like, some weird... Uh, Something tells me. Yep. It's a room. Ah, tech Attic. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Built the most powerful quantum calculator. Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer, capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine, more than several. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate pr predictions. Philip Seymour, uh, CyberLife's director of Futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while, and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters, like meteors or super viruses. Okay. The computer can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap, leap in applied artificial intelligence. Android astronauts to explore I.O. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore I.O. or LO or whatever. Um, one of Jupiter's satellites the journey will last three years and it is is expected to teach, teach us much about the formation of our solar system though not the first androids in space this is the first all machine crew proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be uh entrusted with the entire mission androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space said michael shelley director of nasa cosmic radiation destroys human dna humans suffer uh many effects from long-term space travel while androids are immune to most of these issues NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on low for several months before being uh, destroyed by the extreme con conditions of the planet. Ugh. That sucks for them. Is it IO or low? I think it's IO, but... Or EO. I mean, does it matter, dude? Is it a moon or a planet? Satellite. Uh, 
I think it's Io. Also known as Jupiter One. That had no effect on me. Where did you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? But not Android. Bend down. Sell your soul to me. Oh, what the fuck? There's someone really needs to clean this place up. Who the fuck is you? Everything's locked. They are doing this to direct you to a particular location. That's yeah, fine. I mean, big ships make sounds, right? Yeah, it's a little bit like heavy rain. Light source found. Oh, nice. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah. yeah. As soon as I saw that angle on that that beam, I was like, he's not gonna land on that beam. He's gonna definitely deflect off that beam. <laughs> He's come here from the outside. Welcome to Jericho. Look at that. There's a guy from the beginning. Hey. That's interesting. Met people of Jericho. Hmm. I mean, like, how many choices do we actually have? There are other red fortune teller, red android. Oh, I missed one of them. Oh, there were three. Yeah. They threw you a curveball. 